What's up guys and welcome back to yet another video. My name is Lucas and I'm the founder of Ergogenic Health and my mission is to give you guys the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So anyway, today we are talking about cortisol and specifically I'm going to elucidate and explain some of the key signs and symptoms of elevated cortisol. So many of you will already be familiar with this hormone and you'll probably associate it with stress and that is true. However, it does also play a fundamental role in the body. And in fact, without this hormone, you will die. It's actually that important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. I put together a nice presentation that will um, hopefully make things a little bit more clear to you guys. Um, cool. All right. So... Before I jump into this presentation, I just want to uh, illustrate that this is not medical advice. Please seek out any um, health advice or um, please consult your health healthcare professional before making any changes to your lifestyle or routine. Cortisol 101. Right, so cortisol is released by our adrenal glands and it should be at its peak first thing in the morning, around 30 minutes after you wake up. And what actually helps stimulate cortisol release is light exposure and sunlight. Um, the best way is to go outside, get outdoors and expose yourself to sunlight. That will help your body kickstart its own cortisol production. Uh, cortisol also increases the release of fatty acids from fat tissue between meals. It modulates the immune system it can reduce inflammation acutely and is involved in learning and memory. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you some of the key signs and symptoms of elevated cortisol. Uh, first up, we have the top three consequences of elevated cortisol. The first one is poor sleep. And this is due to uh, cortisol's negative or antagonistic effect on melatonin production, which is our master sleep hormone. Anytime cortisol is uh, elevated or, or raised in the bloodstream, it actually counteracts uh, melatonin secretion. So that's one mechanism behind how cortisol can impair sleep. And there's actually many more pathways as well. Next up, we have fat gain. Cortisol can induce insulin resistance. We know that. It can lead to excess uh, body fat accumulation and it can mess with a lot of other hormones in the body, particularly the sex hormones, progesterone, um, testosterone, and things like that. And then next up, we have poor mood. So those that have elevated cortisol tend to have dysfunctional mood states and that's due to its effects on the hippocampus and the, the hypothalamus and amygdala and various pathways within the brain. Here are some of the signs and symptoms of high cortisol. So we have muscle wastage, which is a catabolic state. Um, for example, overtraining can lead to muscle wastage. Uh, cognitive dysfunction, mentally and physically fatigued. So like that'll be linked, um, that, that's sort of linked to how cortisol can mess with uh, or influence glutamate release, which is excitatory and therefore can inf impact our cognition it affects our ability to detox so elevated cortisol leads to a poor ability to detoxify that's through the kidneys and liver um, it can cause tiredness after a meal due to insulin resistance um, so i've spoken about insulin resistance and a particular herb dihydroberberine in one of my other videos how that's a powerful herb to counteract insulin resistance um, blurry vision and eye floaters they have low sex hormones, that's both men and women, um, estrogen and uh, testosterone, DHT for men. Um, hypothyroidism, so high cortisol can actually suppress thyroid hormone. Um, poor ability to digest food. High serotonin symptoms, so that's related to cortisol's impact on monoamine oxidase and also elevated blood pressure because cortisol helps retain sodium. Cortisol has mild or very minor mineral corticoid-like properties. So it can actually um, bind to the same receptor as aldosterone, which is 
the hormone that governs blood pressure well one of the key hormones um so on the left hand side you can sort of see how cortisol is released um there's a basic breakdown starting in the hypothalamus then you know a separate hormone corticotropin releasing hormone hits the pituitary gland pituitary gland then releases acth and then subsequently cortisol is released from the adrenal gland there are a lot of other factors guys that can influence um this pathway there's herbs that can um, bind to these receptors there's supplements that can influence that and i'm going to cover a lot of those in my newsletter um and I'll be presenting a lot more of that. So if you haven't already subscribed to my free newsletter, um, there's a link in the video description. Um, so that's pretty much the key signs and symptoms of high cortisol. Um, leave a comment below if you guys have struggled with high cortisol and what you've done to counteract it. I know hundreds of ways to lower cortisol. Um, that will be dedicated in another video. Here's a bonus fact about a gut bacteria or prebiotic that can actually increase cortisol. Um, so be careful with probiotics, guys. I've spoken about how we've got to be careful, treat them like drugs because they can influence hormones. And here's a great example. The anxiogenic effects of lactobacillus inulin and symbiotic on healthy juvenile rats. Lactobacillus uh, is a common bacterial strain that you guys will probably be very aware of. Um, and what happened is that in these rats that were um, uh, administered these uh, probiotics and prebiotics, it actually led to an increase in basal cortisol levels compared to placebo. Um, so just be careful with some of the probiotics you're using. So that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to check out all of my other amazing content, I know you guys are going to devour it and absolutely love it. Please do help share my page, my videos around, like the video, leave a comment below, help to boost not your not only your biology, but also boost my algorithm, <laughs> the algorithms. Um, so you'll see links to my podcast, my Instagram newsletter, and my courses as well. So healthy cortisol equals a healthy body. So thanks for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.